Hi everyone. Uh, today we're going to go over uh, creating a collage in Photoshop and we're going to have some fun with it. So uh, let's get started here. Uh, I'm going to start off in SketchUp. And I've set up some scenes already, but I'll show you how to set the scene. So uh, I really want to keep uh, the scene, the perspective, symmetrical and the reason is because that's the type of style that I think it, it's gonna it's gonna work uh, with some of the fun stuff, the fun things we're, we're trying to do with uh, with this perspective. So uh, in order to get a symmetrical uh, view here, we're going to I've I've done a couple here, so I'll show you how to get there. Uh, I'm gonna move myself here a little bit, and so let's yeah I just created this. Uh, really simple uh, plaza space. Uh, I have a couple of shape structures from the SketchUp warehouse. I got some uh, planter benches and uh, these two features here. They could e either be water or some sort of other planter, right? Uh, these uh, depressed uh, areas here. Uh, and I, yeah, I guess I should, uh, let's go back to architecture, right? And so in order to create the scene, I if you pull up your styles, I just went to hidden line, right? And then I want to go to the camera, uh, make sure it's in perspective, and I'm just going to do standard views, ISO. And then I'm going to zoom out a little bit, and I will do position camera here. I'm going to go in this corner here, and then I... Uh, I'm gonna zoom out and see what that looks like. Uh, no, let's see. So I'm gonna do it again here. Uh, and I just want enough to see kind of this corner edge at the bottom. I'm gonna mess with the height here. Let's try four feet. Maybe less. Oh, uh, that actually might be nice. Uh, yeah, let's try that. Um, yeah, I like that. Uh, let's try that. So I'm going to save the scene. Uh, animation at scene. Uh, it's my scene four. Yep. Okay, cool. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to export this out. So uh, file, uh, export, 2D graphic. And I'm going to find a folder here. Probably going to be really messy here. Um, okay, so let's do zero 05 export. And so we're doing this so we can export out our, um, our, our line work here to take it to Photoshop. Uh, one other hint, I guess I should, I should have say is we need, we need the profiles actually. There we go. So if you go down to styles and edit, get the profiles. I don't think we need back edges. No. Step Q, no. Endpoints, possibly. Uh, no, it looks good. I don't think we need endpoints. And then, so I'm gonna do it one more time just because I think I, in the options here, uh, it's zero six options. Uh, yeah, so I totally, yeah, so you see how big this file is. I'm just going to make it uh, probably like eight and a half, right? Yeah, that's good. Add screen display, show profiles, we need that. I don't know if I want, uh, maybe we don't need that. Uh, maybe we do. Let's do that. Uh, okay, always pound for a hidden line. Let's see. Okay, and export. And so I'm gonna open up Photoshop here. I created a 10 by 10, and I'll just do another one quickly. New, uh, inches, um, let's do 10 by 10. I want the composition to be more square, so. Uh, resolution, I like working at 300, it might be too much. 200 is uh, perfectly fine, but um, I usually work in 300 and you know you can give it a title so I'm just gonna save it quickly here uh, yeah. 
what we're gonna do. You'll find out why there's you see some Bernie files here. Uh, Bernie, let's do uh, zero two. Save. Okay, I'm gonna check that and relabel it. Uh, I mean, unlock it. Background. And uh, I'm going to open up the file we exported, the PDF from uh, from uh, from SketchUp, and this will kind of give you a little bit more. Here we go, zero five, zero six, actually. Okay, it's looking good. Media three hundred. Okay, cool. I'm going to drag it here. And here's our uh, our line work from SketchUp. We're gonna center it. Uh, actually, I think I need. Uh, okay, I need this. So let me let me just do this really quick. I yeah, I need the corner there. So I just zoomed out a little bit more. So I'm gonna do this one more time. Sorry about that. Uh, let's do. Uh, Seven export. Yeah, make sure these options are good. Yeah, eight and a half. Cool. Okay. So I'm going to delete this. And uh, no. I'm going to open up that new export that we did. Seven. Okay, it's looking good. 300. Good. Okay. Now drag it here. Oh, much better. Okay, cool. Yeah, and I want that because it's a it's a square composition, and I kind of wanna I do want to extend it, right? I wanted I didn't want that cutoff to be there, so uh, I'm gonna center this. If I maybe zoom out a little bit more. Uh, let's see. Find the center here. Hmm. Sometimes Photoshop is really good at finding centers, sometimes it's not. Can't complain though, it really does help. Uh, maybe there. Okay. That looks pretty centered, right? Five, yeah. Half. 4.5. Yeah, perfect. Should be good enough. Now I'm being too picky here. Uh, I'm just going to do five. No, I won't do guideline. Yeah, that should be it there. Okay. Spent too much time on that, but I'm just going to relabel here line work. And, yeah. And so I'm going to make a new layer. And we're just going to get started uh, filling in some of these textures with. Uh, so I'm gonna do let's do let's do the the wood uh, actually let's do the concrete first concrete uh, just concrete is fine. Uh, gonna zoom in here and gonna click on the line work there. I'm just gonna select this ground plane. Hopefully get most of it here. Uh, there's some quite difficult one there. You don't need that much, so it doesn't have to be perfect for this one. Uh, you know, you can take, you can refine it as as you as you like, uh, and spend as much time as you want. But actually, I kind of, I've kind of been really liking just uh, collaging a little bit more loosely. I think it adds a little bit more character uh, to images and compositions. So okay, that's looking good. So uh, I just downloaded some textures from Google, just a quick Google search. So I'm going to show you how to create a brush pattern from them. So uh, open that. So yeah, just Google uh, concrete texture and something like this should pop up, right? You can use whatever you like. And I'm going to create a, with a marquee tool right here. It's going to create a square if you press shift so you can keep your square. And I'm going to go to Edit, uh, Define Pattern, uh, let's say C2. 
uh, and uh, I'm going to go back and in my concrete texture here uh, if you press the paint bucket and it's a foreground change it to pattern and my pattern should be down here somewhere yeah it should be this one that should be C2 and uh, I'm just gonna yeah fill it yeah that should be it and let's check yeah I missed a couple spots I missed these spots which I thought I grabbed but I guess I didn't so I'm just gonna grab them really quick uh, control D to uh, to deselect and we're using the magic wand to select the areas within the line work right so let's do this uh, concrete yep there we go yeah, so now we have our base plane here our, our ground plane uh, let's see what else do we need yeah so uh, I'm not going to show you how to do all the all the I'm not going to go through all the steps of, of, of the textures but I did the same thing with the with the wooden texture right and I created a, a pattern with it so I'm going to go back to line work and I'm just going to select the, the benches here which are going to be filled in with a wood texture so let's go zoom in here uh, let's see I don't think I guess we, we could use the whole thing let's just do the whole thing um, I'm not going to try to get those and uh, and a tip too, if you take it into um, Illustrator before as a PDF and you change the line work to like 0 0.01 or so, that can also help you um, not have these like overlaying uh, lines in, in, in Photoshop. So you can actually um, magic wand a little bit better, but uh, this will have to do for now. But just a quick tip there. Uh, see yeah. okay I'm just yeah I'm not even gonna try to handle that and of course the like designer me is like oh you have to do everything perfectly but um, for the sake of demonstration and time just gonna move on and a uh, new layer here we're gonna name it wood benches and uh, again a paint bucket I'm gonna go here I have a bunch of textures then that I created the same way we did it with the cement one right and I just filled it in plain. There you go. It's looking good. Control D to deselect. And let's see what else do I want to do. Let's do these uh, these shade structures here as quickly as we can. So the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to duplicate the line work layer. Uh, let's see. Duplicate, duplicate. There we go. Duplicate. And uh, you can do this a bunch of ways, but I'm just going to try to do it this way so maybe it saves me time maybe it doesn't but we'll see so choose like a, a bright color uh, that way we can uh, just go to the line work and oops, sorry make sure this is a uh, foreground yeah. and I'm just gonna start filling in the areas uh, maybe I'll keep them separate and as you can see like our SketchUp model didn't export that out right um, I think it, there's a setting in there that I just did not check, but uh, it might be that viewing, viewing view as displayed or something like that. So it might be that. So you guys can experiment with that. Uh, let's see. Let's just try to do this quickly here. All right, as quick as I can. Uh, let's see. I guess I'll do for now. Uh, let's just do the space here, these legs. Okay. And so the reason I'm doing this is I just want a preference, so then I can select it uh, through color range and then fill it in with my uh, with my pa uh, my pattern or texture that I want. So it'll make more sense soon. So let's just. Keep it going here. Let's do this. Uh, uh, we don't even need that, but just a little bit. And uh, let's go back here. Uh, yeah, that should uh, I should stop. Yeah, let's just stop. Okay, uh, that should be enough. Uh, actually, let's just do this one corner here that I kind of saw. There we go. Okay. 
So we're going to uh, color range here. Select. Uh, oh, sorry, my mouse is kind of freaking out. Select uh, color range. Uh, yep, here we go. Let's click on this. Uh, fuzziness, probably want more. Right? Uh, let's try that. Okay, it's selected, and we're just going to make it create a new layer. And let's do shade one. I spelled it shade one. And I'm going to change this to pattern. Make sure I hit ground shade one, and I'm going to do a quarter seal texture for it. Right, there we go. Control D, deselect. Let's just see what it looks like without the line work here. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Uh, okay, so I'm going to do the same thing with the back one, and hopefully it goes faster than this front one. Uh, don't want to hide that. Actually, we can, uh, no. Let's just duplicate it again. You could do it in the same one and just uh, do them together, but I, I kind of like to separate them. So okay. I'm going to repeat this step here. Uh, let's do this. Oh, no, and I'm already doing that. You can do that. I just I like doing color first in case I want to change the texture. I have that preference again. Right? Uh, so let's just do this. Uh, no, OK. Let's try to zoom in here more. It's probably going to be pixelated, and I'm spending way too much time on it. But here we go. We're going to try to get as close as we can here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's not even worth it. Let's do this. This back spot here. Now I'm going to try that. Maybe that little bit. Just to kind of get that sense there. A little bit more. I guess we can try to do some of these. Uh, here we go. Here we go. We should get some of these legs. Uh, and again, these these are meant to be more messy and, and not perfect, right? They're supposed to be more of a, a quicker type of a collage style. Uh, so. Don't be afraid to have even more fun with it, right? Be more loose with it. Maybe you find a, a different style that works really well, um, even with um, the patterns, right? Or cutting it out a certain way, which I'll show an example of like, a little bit and very soon. Uh, let's see. Oh, goodness. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. I have to stop myself or else I can get into the rabbit hole. Uh, okay. Just uh, I just want this. Please. Okay, never mind. Let's move on. Actually, let's do these so that we have that. Okay. Okay, that's going to be good for now. Again, we're going to go to color range, uh, select color range, and select that color. Fuzziness looks good. Should be good. Make a new layer. Uh, shade 02. We're going to move that up here, or actually below the front one, right? That's the front one is there. And paint bucket, pattern, coordinate, and shade 2. Yep, there we go. Control T, deselect. I'm just going to hide these two, right? And I'm going to move them to the bottom, all the way to the bottom, because I don't really need to worry about them, but just in case. So, yeah, so yeah, we're starting to get our little plaza going, right? And so, uh, let's see. For these depressed areas, I want to create kind of a water. Uh, fountain texture. So I have, let's see, open with Photoshop. And so I I downloaded this uh, water color texture, and it's just blue. Kind of like using these for water. This has a nice uh, uh, aesthetic to it. So I'm going to move this up here. And I'm going to duplicate it. And I guess we should name it water. Duplicate layer and uh, I'm going to hide one and I'm just going to dis I'm sorry going to distort it so it fits in our uh, depressed area there so edit uh, edit transform distort sorry I'm going to move this here ok 
And let's move it up there. Zoom in a little bit just so we can get it a little bit more refined, right? And again, you can spend a lot more time on this, making it uh, really, really precise, but uh, we're just trying to get this, uh, this concept across here. Uh, okay, so I should be good. That's okay. I'm gonna move it down. Let's see behind the shades. See how that looks. Okay, that looks okay. Yeah, it looks alright. Um, and so I'm gonna do the same with the other one. Uh, edit, transform, distort. So let's do this. So it's re it's looking really conventional now, but. Uh, you'll see in a bit how we're going to really, uh, uh, the whole point of this uh, exercise is trying to um, take something kind of really conventional and uh, just uh, add some textures and layers and opacity uh, adjustments to it. So it creates a, a kind of a more intriguing composition. So uh, we're going to hopefully get there soon. And so let's see, do that, yeah, okay, so that's going to have to do, and then I'll notice there's like a little missing concrete, right, concrete area there, so I'll do that quickly, okay, so we're going to press OK, I'm going to move it back here, water, right, and you can start to group them, uh, I'll probably group them a little bit later, but we'll see how it goes, uh, let's see, so let's do that concrete, it's bothering me in line with, just gonna select that area. Uh, I mean, magic wand, right? Line work, magic wand that that area, and then concrete paint bucket. Uh, there's some texture. Yeah, fill that in. Control D to deselect. Yeah, cool. As you can see, we're we're starting to get our plaza um, fairly quickly, right? Uh, so we have that. We have that. So let's start. Um, let's start putting in. Let's start putting in the background, and actually, uh, where should we start with vegetation? I guess let's finish off the plaza, right? Let's finish off the whole plaza, and then we'll um, we'll start uh, with the background. So uh, I downloaded this from uh, uh, Maye. It's at uh, I think it's Danish uh, website with the trees, right? Uh, and of course, you can use any tree really. Uh, just a quick Google search, uh, you know, uh, tree cutout, tree PNG, right? It'll get you some trees going. And so I'm just going to transform and scale this down. Let's see, does that look right? Maybe a little bit taller. Yeah, let's see. Up there, it's pretty good. I'm going to uh, just copy it or uh, drag, drag it, right? If you drag it while holding down Alt or on Mac, I believe it's Option. Um, it'll copy it for you, right? Uh, so let's see. That looks pretty good. And I'm just going to Control T and I'm going to uh, right click and flip horizontal just to kind of give it more variety and kind of adds to the symmetrical effect, right? And do that. Put that there. Okay, that's it for now. And um, you know, I should label these, but I'm just going to group these quickly here. So I need group from layers and say trees. And I'm going to move that behind the shade structures. There we go. Uh, actually, uh, I want, yeah, behind the shade structures. That's good. And then um, I guess the wood benches would have to go over them or below below them. I mean, yeah. So then that way we can get that effect. Uh, uh, we're going to mask these out uh, soon. So actually, we can do that now. Let's mask them. So if we select our, our layer or uh, Group layers there, group of layers. I'm gonna uh, mask, make a new mask. Uh, paintbrush, it's a soft brush. Make sure that's black, right? I'm just gonna go very quickly and this one there. Okay, so that's done. And so I'm just gonna add a little bit more vegetation there. Uh, again, a quick Google search is gonna get you. Um, uh, some shrubs or, or whatever you want, and I'm trying to find 
two upside it down a little bit here. So I had those ready. Doesn't look like they're here. Give me one sec, I'm sorry. Uh, let's see, library. Uh, okay, we're just gonna do a quick Google search. It's probably easier. Let's do uh, uh, flower bed PNG. Or you could do shrubs maybe. Flower bed works, right? Uh, let's do, uh, let's see, we want something with kind of a little bit of variety. Uh, that's not, that'd be cool, but I think it's too much. That might work. Uh, I kind of like these. Yeah, this is good. This kind of contrasting colors. Let's try this. So I'm just going to drag it, and you can save it, right? And uh, and and export it into Open Up in Photoshop. So I'm just going to drag it, and I'm going to go to Effects, Blending Options. I'm going to drag the top slider, right? Delete our background there. And I'm going to go here, Control T. We're going to transform it. Uh, let's see. That looks pretty good, I think. Yeah, I'm just going to drag it, drag it and copy, right? Do the same here. And it should be about the same since it is a symmetrical composition, right? That's looking good. And I'm going to uh, group them. And again, you can be a way more neat and, and uh, label everything, but for the sake of time, I'm just going to group them here. Make group layers, uh, flower beds. Okay. And I'm going to mask. Create a new mask for that group and brush. And I'm just gonna brush these away. And again, you can mess with the opacity and the, the flow. As you can see, my flow is pretty low, right? Because I kind of want that softness. And we can zoom in here. Gives you a little bit more feel for it, right? And it's not gonna be perfect again. Like I'm not spending all the time I need to to make it perfect, right? But you can. Uh, let's see. Or as I shouldn't say perfect, I should say as neat as you can, right? Just gonna do this here. So this and that. Yeah, we want kind of the bench edge there. Yeah. So it gets a little effect there, right? And that should be good for now. Because if we zoom out, it won't be that noticeable. Right? Cool. Yeah. Our pause is starting to get there, right? And so uh, let's do our background. Uh, let's do. So for the background, uh, let's do the sky first, right? And again, another quick Google search will get you sky. So I just found the sky. I'm going to drag it into a file. Zoom out a little bit. And put it in the corner there. Control T. Make it quite large here. Uh, try to move it up here just a little bit. Let's see. That probably looks right, kind of like that on the edge there. Okay. Uh, and I'm just going to get rid of some of these so my computer doesn't um, fail me here. Yeah. Now I can save. Okay. Now it's now save. Okay. So we have our background, and now I'm going to label it here. We named the layer sky. Now I'm gonna add. I'm gonna add a. a I'm gonna lighten it up already. So I'm gonna go to the, our, our adjustment layers, add a hue saturation adjustment, and uh, link it. Make sure you press this button so it links to that bottom, right, to the sky layer, and uh, lighten it up. Uh, I think 35 is good. And set. Do we want to mess with the saturation? Uh, maybe just a little bit. That looks good. Okay, we're gonna put this guy all the way in the background. Let's go there. Cool. And uh, so I want to fill this uh, back area with a uh, kind of a, a line of trees. So uh, let's see. I found this one through Google. And again, you can. You, a lot of you probably have a library, or you started your library, so. You can start to um, add even more to your library, right? So I'm going to take get rid of the background here. Effects, blending options. Uh, slide this down. Let's do. Let's see. Oh, 
looks good there. Yeah, looks pretty good. Uh, yep, gonna drag it. And let's see. Uh, tree line, tree label here. Uh, I'm gonna duplicate it a couple of times because we're gonna need it uh, about three times. And I'll show you why. Uh, duplicate layer. And again, if you know the shortcuts, this goes a lot faster. Right? Just trying to show sometimes a little bit more how you can get to tools uh, without shortcuts, right? Because it does take a while to learn. So uh, I'm gonna control T and uh, fill in this back area, right? And so I'm gonna put it kind of in the center here. Actually, let's see. Yeah. Okay, and I'm going to transform it. So add it, transform, and I'm gonna do sort. And let's see, I'm gonna try to do this here. I'm gonna to try to follow this line here. Give us that effect. Let's see, I'm gonna zoom in. That would probably help here. Okay, kind of in the center there. Drag this one a little bit more, maybe. And uh, we're going to fill in this, this gap we have too, right? So we can overlap a little. So let's see. You know, it's not perfect, but that'll do for now. Let's not make it seem totally warped, maybe. Let's see. There we go. Maybe I'm going to get rid of that effect. Yeah, there we go. That should be good enough. Right. And I'm going to duplicate it. And I'm just going to um, uh, Control T and right click, flip horizontal. Just give us this quickly here. There we go. And one more, uh, one of the copies, I'm just going to bring it here. I'm going to transform it. Control T. Make it bigger. There we go. Just to add a little bit more kind of that depth and maybe you here. Oh, that's looking all right. Okay, so I'm going to lighten up because uh, we can mess with these, but I think they're. Yeah, I'm just probably going to lighten them up. Uh, so I don't want to do this. Uh, let's group them. So click that. Uh, new group from layers, tree line. And uh, let's see, let's mess around with the opacity here. And probably 80. And I'm going to lighten them up, lighten them up a, little, a little bit as well with the adjustment layer, hue saturation. Uh, link it. Uh, let's do uh, my. There we go. Probably just a tad bit. Twelve. Maybe five. Add a little bit of. Yeah. Okay. And don't worry too much about these edges. It's it's gonna it's gonna it's not gonna make a huge difference uh, soon. So we have that. We have that. Uh, let's see. What else do I want to do? So as you can see, we're starting to get a really conventional type of um, collage rendering, right? So uh, let's uh, mm. yeah. You know what? I'm just gonna start to uh, kind of layer some some effects on here. Um, so I'm going to do that with a watercolor texture. Uh, we could even use the the, the one we use for water, or, but uh, for the sake of uh, showing that different uh, pattern, I found this one. Um, it was one of the top hits for uh, Google, Google uh, on Google about uh, water color texture, right? And I'm just going to drag it here and Control T and create. I'm going to fill in this entire space here. And I'm going to overlay it here. Yeah. Let's see. You know, it's a little bit too much right now. Let's try to multiply. 
you know, multiply looks kind of cool. And we could flip this actually, so then the blue is kind of more, but I'm just going to leave it um, for now. And I'm just going to do one more uh, texture. And so um, I'm going to desaturate it because I really just want the, the, the texture. I don't really want the coloring. So uh, let's go to um, Q saturation again, link it down. Uh, let's do this, desaturate it. Yeah, there we go. Maybe lighten it, right? 23, 25. Okay, so this is kind of the start, right? It still looks really conventional, but uh, but we're going to start getting somewhere soon here. So what I want to do now is I want to um, I want to add some entourage, right? So um, this is kind of where the fun part starts. Uh, so I found a couple of, uh, of uh, let's see, show you these uh, kind of paintings, right? And uh, I just cut them out. I, I meant to cut them out really, really fine, but I, I, I did this quickly with the lasso tool, right? I just kind of went around, right? And did, did something really quick. And I ended up with these cutouts, right? And I really liked the, the feel that they created, right? It's kind of cut out feel. So I just cut these two out, and right? this guy sitting, and this guy very quickly, very really rough, right? And I'm just gonna drag them into our um, into our file here, and then I'm gonna put this guy sitting down, I'm gonna scale him down, I'm gonna put him down here. I can fit here. You know, it's not going to be perfect, right? Uh, it probably has to be smaller. Yeah, it's starting to feel right. Okay. Okay, and then I'm um, going to add the other person here. Right? And so the whole point of this is like have some fun with the entourage, right? Don't just uh, keep using the same entourage and uh, don't be afraid to explore some new ways. Like this is how you find new kind of uh, techniques, right? Like the, the cutout never even ca crossed my mind, but um, I was trying to do this quickly and I really enjoyed the way it looked. So I put this guy here. No, probably neutral. Yeah, there we go. Seems about right. And so um, I did the same for another painting. Just gonna do it. Uh, bring it out here. Yeah, same thing, right? Cut it out really roughly, really quickly. Control T. I'm gonna put them in the background. Fill up our back here. And again, these are just meant to kind of, let's uh, start to kind of have fun with these collages, right? And so, I mean, that's probably all well here. So I'm gonna do this one. You know, it might be weird because our perspective is so symmetrical, right? But uh, let's see. I might have to make him smaller, so I might just do auto select here. Control T. That feels a little better, and then I might make him look a tad bit smaller as well. See if he's set up. You know, it is kind of curving down, so I think we should be okay. Okay, sweet. And so I'm gonna hide this texture for now. And, you know, it's, it's looking really conventional, right? So I'm only gonna wanna highlight certain features and I'll show you in a bit. Um, but there's one more entourage uh, that's gonna make an appearance here. Uh, let's see. So this is what <laughs> I was having, I was cut, I was browsing the internet and I found the, the browsing, uh, the uh, Brony meme, right? And I thought it'd be funny to start off with them. So that's where this collage kind of got its start. I actually started with Bernie here. So just for fun, 
that it'd be fun to put them in here, right? It's just hanging out in the plaza. So let's see, it looks nice. And he has to be front and center, right? A little bit smaller than them. Yeah, there we go. Sweet. Okay, and again, make sure you're <laughs> keeping track of your uh, labels and layer management here. I'm spending, I'm not spending enough time on them. So, um, what I want to do is I, so I have uh, my entourage here. Uh, I'm going to group these together. Come here, entourage. And we're going to rename that one and uh, let's see. Yeah, so I am going to, hmm, what's the easiest way to do this? Um, I'm going to. I'm going to add an adjustment layer. So adjustment layer, and I'm not going to link it. So it's going to be for the overall image, right? And uh, we're going to do this. And we're going to widen it up quite a bit here. I'm going to do uh, 30, right? And I really like the way it's starting to uh, to read, right? And with a nice kind of uh, watercolor texture too layered on top of it. it kind of creates a nice effect. Uh, so uh, bring these on top, and so I'm gonna put down throughout the top stuff I want to highlight, right? And then I am also going to highlight our vegetation, our benches, and and the shade structures. So just certain elements, right? So let's do and probably the water. So I have not been um, uh, keeping good layer management. So please be better. Uh, let's go here. Sorry. Just, uh, there we go. We have our benches, we have our water, uh, where are our flower beds here, right? And um, so I just want everything that's kind of in the plaza. Uh, and the ground plane is okay to kind of keep out, um, at least for this example. There we go. See, this starts to look pretty cool. And then uh, what am I missing? I'm missing the shape structures, right? So quick one, no, shade one, shade two. Right? I'm gonna drag those guys out. Um, probably go here. And we got it on top of the trees, so it's fine. Okay, sweet. Now we have this kind of style, right? And I, I really like the the effects that we have going, right? So. Uh, the thing is, let's see, I don't want the shades to read as, uh, I'm going to group them as much. So I'm going to new group from layers, shades, or just shade maybe, and uh, just my layer, and saturation. And then I'm just going to lighten them up. Oh, make sure it's linked. Lighten it up here. Maybe 30, maybe a little bit less. Uh, there. Saturation. And so uh, let's see. And then for the. Yeah, I, I do like the feel of everything else. I think everything else is fine. Just the shade structures were a little um, a little too much. And then I'm going to highlight the people, the entourage, right? Uh, we could keep them kind of there, but I, I kind of want to play around with the color as well to kind of complement the composition. It, uh, overall, so I'm going to go to the entourage here. Uh, let's see, hue, saturation, decimal layer, link it, and so uh, desaturate, right? And I'm going to colorize them, right? Uh, let's see, colorize, uh, lighten them up a little bit here. 20, and let's choose, uh, let's see, what color would be nice? I'm going to stick with like a purplish. Uh, kind of like everything. Actually, that was nice, but I want them to contrast. So maybe like this, right? Maybe like a, a purple, yeah. A purple color. And I'll probably make them, let's see, yeah, quite white, right? Yeah, that's, that's looking good. 
maybe 15, that's not. 45. Let's do that. And then Bernie, we're going to do the same with Bernie here. Change saturation, link it. Uh, let's see. Let's colorize him. I want him to stick out, so I, I don't know what color. Oh, that would be way too much. Um, maybe a light blue. Maybe a blue. Uh, kind of want them to stay in the same range here. So actually, maybe let's uh, highlight them out there. Right? Kind of the same range, but just a little different here. Uh, let's see. That feels so bad. Right? Yeah. Okay, sweet. And so what I want to do now, I, I'm going to... Uh, See, I'm gonna we have our, our texture layer here, right? And that looks pretty sweet too. But just adding, uh, I'm gonna duplicate it, and I'm gonna add, and I'm gonna move it these two all the way up here. Uh, let's see, all the way up. Yeah, and then oh, did I, I think I must have must have unlinked a layer here? But I'm gonna group them. Um, right, let's see, let's do. Is it this one? Yeah, okay. Uh, so I'm gonna let's see, I'm gonna play around with them here. We lay maybe just one for now. All right, that that looks pretty cool, right? Uh, let's see, let's desaturate it. We can colorize it as well, that looks pretty cool. Uh, but we're going to desaturate it. Link it, sorry. Lighten it up maybe. Yeah, so a lot of this is again trial and error. Actually, that seems pretty cool. What was that? Is that uh, diffuse? Or, uh, what was that? What was that effect? Hard light? Did I say things? Hmm. Oh, that was dissolved. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Let's let's actually play around with that and let's um, change the opacity here. So I just want it a little bit. So maybe maybe five. Not too much. Yeah, that looks like it's too much. Yeah, let's just let's keep with like overlay. Let's keep it cleaner. Uh, so let's see. I don't. Hmm. It's not making a huge difference, and I don't know why. Um, oh, of course. Sorry. Uh, okay, so let's go multiply. Um, let's, uh, let's do 75, maybe. There we go. That was cool. And so let's, uh, I want to add a square in the background to just kind of give us a little bit more effect too. So I'm going to make a new layer, uh, square, uh, marquee tool, press shift. Just going to do like a gray here. Oh, and I did, actually, we could use. Oh, we could use a pattern. Let's try to do that. So, uh, yeah, let's do a pattern. And then I am going to go to the properties and uh, create uh, maybe 8x8. Eight eight. Let's, uh, let's 
see I'm going to center it as much as I can here. Let's get rid of this. And so, the, yeah, the whole point is I kind of wanted to add more texture to it, and actually this works out. And it gives us kind of that border effect, right? And let's, uh, let's see. Let's play around with this and see what we can do with it, too. Multiply, overlay. Oh, that looks kind of cool. Subtract. Uh, let's just do multiply. I'm going to go down to 75. Hide the line work, right? And then, uh, let's see. Then I'm just going to add one more layer here. Uh, actually, what do I want to do with this? I just want the trees to pop up a little bit more, so maybe it's just a texture layer. I'm going to delete this, and then the water color texture, I'm going to bring it up, and then, uh, yeah, that's overlay. Uh, let's see, let's play around with some of these. Light in, overlay, soft light, hard light. Uh, let's see, saturation. Maybe hard light, right? Hard light. It's just overlay. And let's um, let's see what it looks like. Yeah, overlay is fine. And I'm just going to do maybe 60. And uh, one more time, I think I'm just going to desaturate it and see how it looks. Yeah, maybe just a tad bit here, 48. Darken it, no, light in it maybe. 12. Uh, no, maybe that's it, right? Yeah, and I think that's, that's it. Uh, the only thing I, I kind of do want the textures uh, of the shades to come out. So maybe let's. Uh, Let's change that here. Uh, so in our linked properties, yeah, let's just bring this back a little bit. Point two. Yeah, that seems right. Okay, sweet. So now we have our, our little um, our composition here, right? And it looks kind of a it's kind of a fun one, right? Just we're, we're playing around with the opacities and the textures, right? It's completely different than just your regular um, uh, rendered uh, uh, style, right? So, uh, so the composition from kind of this doesn't look as 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 I want to, right? I kind of want to zoom in. So I'm gonna try and um, try adding another square here. Uh, probably uh, and fill it in. Maybe the same pattern. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, probably create. Uh, sorry. Yeah, let's do a new square. New layer. Square two. And fill it in here. And I'm gonna make it. Uh, we did. Uh, that was an eight, right? Let's try. Let's try six. Six and six. And let's uh, yeah. So then, when we crop it, we can actually crop it from this edge, right? Because it that looks a lot better than than kind of the zoomed out version, right? Uh, so let's. Uh, I might change the color though. So. Actually, let's see. Uh, so I'm going to try a different color here. Maybe, it, maybe if it's black, I'll see. Um, magic wand, right? I'm gonna make sure this is selected. Square two. Gonna inverse. Select inverse. Uh, oh, sorry. 
uh, right click, select inverse, and I am going to go back to this layer and create this three. Oops, this uh, three. And then let's try a black. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, sorry. Change this to foreground. Help. Oh, that seems kind of cool, right? That might work. Uh, let's try. Let's try a couple more. Let's see. Now I'm curious. Let's see if white. That actually looks kind of cool, right? Kind of like the white. See the black again here. The black actually brings out this and the highlight. Let's, let's just keep that black, right? And so, uh, yeah. And so when I save it, I'm just going to crop it at that that edge there, uh, or we can just crop it here. Uh, I don't want to delete my crop uh, pixels in case I want to uh, bring it back, right? So let's do. Let's just bring it in. And again, a lot of trial and error here. Uh, you know, my plan was totally different when I started, and now it's it's become this, right? So, uh, let's see, is that is that correct here? I'm losing my square here. It's supposed to be eight by eight, right? Yeah, eight by eight. So, eight, eight by eight, and let's see. Let's just make sure this is centered here. Be centered. Yeah, maybe, maybe there, right? uh, I should have had a better a better uh, feel for it here. Let's let's see. Oh, that's it. Right? Oh yeah, it's because we have our yeah that was throwing me off. We have this background as well. Yeah, so I'm gonna press OK in there. Yeah, sweet. Uh, now that looks off. Uh, let's see. Sorry. Let's see. Why is it looking off to me? So we'll some edges here. Let's see. Uh, yeah, let's just do eight by eight here. Um, or the properties maybe. No. Or here, one on one square. There. Goodness. Uh, it's a lot harder than I imagined here. So let's see, have that, we have that, that looks good. Sweet. Now we have our, our you can see how this it feels a lot better, right? The composition is a lot uh, better and a lot more intriguing than what it was in doubt. So yeah. Uh, yeah, so that's it. I think that's uh, We can add some labels to it, right? Or we can, I guess we can do the same thing. So let's call it uh, our this maybe for you let's see what uh, oh I'm I'm way down here I'm like why is this not working so let's move this up right <laughs> I'm just having some fun with it smaller though let's try uh, three four yeah that looks good I guess uh, yeah we can bring it into the edge here and uh, maybe I'm just gonna try to do this uh, Similar color palette here. Oops. Oh, sorry, Mike. Uh, but I want it more, so let's. Uh, 
Ah, that might be too much. Kind of like the feel of this, right? And then uh, let's overlay it. Maybe that'll help. Multiply it. Right? Maybe this becomes black. So then that way we have something, right? We can play around the composition all day, but it's fine, right? Uh, I'm going to call it Plaza Collage. Maybe just adding like another uh, word here. We'll balance it out a little bit more. That feels a little better, right? And so. Still not digging it though. Let's see. Spending too much time on it, right? We can do this all day. But let's see. Yeah, I kind of like that. Right? This starts to be funny. Right? So, yeah, I think this is it, right? And so, hopefully, this is kind of a fun fun exercise and, and get you thinking about the composition and, and different forms, right? But as if you remember, like quite a bit ago, uh, it was looking really conventional, and, and we could call it a day, but just going going that extra step and adding some textures and just really experimenting, right, with, with all these uh, watercolor textures. You could use any type of texture and with even the entourage, right, and just start to uh, have some fun with it, right? So, yeah, I think this is this concludes um, this, this exercise and this workshop. So... Um, Thanks again for your attention, and uh, I'll see you uh, next time. Thank you so much.